Yo, guys, this is the 6.86 analysis. Uh, well, with me, I'm my, I'm the biggest Charlie Croft fanboy in the world, and my partner, my co criminal here, my co my partner in crime here, he just won what tournament? The uh, Dota International Clan Wars Season 5. Yes. So apparently he, he won something. So it's a big deal now. So we shall leave him to an analyze this uh, this patch analysis, and I will take you guys through it. I'll be the I'll be the narrator, and this guy will be the provide most of the substance. Anyway, let's you, get. You mean like a uh, analyst? Yeah, you'll be the pen. What kind of fluid? I'll be the I'll, I'll be the I'll be the jelly. You'll be the penetrator, okay? So I'll, I'll... Oh yeah, the, pen, the <laughs> yeah. penetrator, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you be the so, penetrator. Uh, let's uh, hold on one second here while I get my friend uh, Bruce come talk to us a bit about Bruce? this patch. Bruce. Okay, yeah, Bruce. Bruce! Ice bro! Can we trust him? <laughs> oh, okay, that's a bit too much. Okay, uh, yep, alright, let's continue with this. Um, so this 6.86, the name of the patch is Balance of Power. As you see at the power. top there, I think uh, I think he can, Chalongkwa, biggest fanboy in the world, can narrate to you about uh, the Ark Warden and whatnot. We'll go to the screen, because my screen is not on set video. Alright, the Ark Warden. The Fractured Guardian, right? You want, to, you want me to read his bio or just like his... Uh... Uh, I'm up to you man, it's your video. <clears throat> eh, we can skip the bio, who cares. Alright, just All right. go straight to his skills then. Ark Warden. I actually have to Google this, man. Hold on. Alright. You not look this up? I didn't look this up, man. How prepared are you? I'm as prepared as Charong Kwa. It's loading. Hmm. Oh, have you played him in Dota 1? No, I have not. <laughs> okay, his first skill is called Flux. Infuses a lone enemy unit with swirling volatile energy. Blah 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 blah. Uh, cast time doesn't really matter, but what it does is it it uh it targets a unit and then it it does a um damage over time for six seconds, and it, it's a slow as well. However, if the unit is near in like an allied unit, and then they then it will start. Th then the damage will go away and. The, the the damage and the slow will stop, basically. Um, I think it is the load again. So imagine, you cast it on enemy hero, and then an enemy creep or enemy hero goes near the hero. It will stop. Yeah, it, essentially, uh, everything stops until uh, you move away. Yeah. So uh, it's something that so called encourages you to. So, magnetic field. This is second skill. skill. I think it's pretty, it looks pretty good, to be honest. It uh, the cast range of nine hundred. It applies a like a, a circle on on the ground, and then whoever steps into the circle, allies whichever allies step into the circle, grants is granted a attack speed bonus of uh, 50, 60, 70, 80 and a hundred percent evasion. So 100% evasion. 100% evasion, correct. Oh. It works on towers as well. So, so if you want to defend enemy high ground. Units, uh, enemy units traverse out of it. No, it only applies to allies. It doesn't do anything to enemy units. So they can walk in and out of it, as, as per usual. Yeah, but it does not linger, so that you can't like, walk in, walk out, walk in, walk out. The moment you walk out of it, um, your the buff is gone. And you have to oh, walk yeah, back yeah, in yeah. to gain it, gain it again. But it's, I think it's pretty good yeah. for like defending high ground. And you put it on a tower. Or you can set it on your team while they are fighting. And yeah. you take proper percent invasion, that's like... That's, that's too much, eh? Yeah, that's but uh, I, I believe the radius is quite small, so... The enemy can just actually... simply walk out of it. Unless they are it's under control. It's 275 radius, it's not that small. 
Please, 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 the strange thing about this hero is his agility, by the way. Wait, no, is it? Oh yeah, it's fine. It's in base, yeah, right? It's in base. Agility? agility? Oh yeah. Base. Agility, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Agility base, yeah. I guess the th third spell is uh, Spark Wraith. Um, basically, what it does is it targets, again, it's a ground AoE. And... and it targets the ground and when you, after it casts it, 3 seconds later like a ghost will spawn, a wraith will spawn from the, ground, from, the, from the AOE and it provides, I think what's most important is it provides 300 flying vision, 300 radius flying vision for its full duration the circle duration lasts for 53 seconds the AOE duration but the thing is, if uh, like some, if an enemy comes in close close to the circle, then then the the wraith or the wraith in the circle will will um, fuse with the enemy and damage it. Well, actually, it's uh, into the circle. So you you, you summon an AOE. I think it was around 300 AOE. I can't be sure. Uh, cooldown is very very nice. It's four second cooldown. So they used to play um, up warden as a mid in Dota one. Really? Because of the rune control. Yeah, um, you can just cast Spark Wraith around the rune and you can see it, you know. And uh, the fact wow. that I think it damages and slows them as well. And you can slow them with Flux and whatnot. So you kind of have superior rune control with this skill and it's 4 second cooldown, like I said. You can just put it, um, it'll be gone in 53 seconds, but uh, someone is likely to walk into it. If you're playing mid, you know. If you're putting down a rune. And the range is pretty far back in Dota 1. I'm not sure if they nerfed it. Mm. But yeah, you used to be able to cast it. You used to be able to walk. Uh, the cast range is two thousand. Walk a bit. Yeah, so here you go. This is insane. Can you put it on the rune? Yeah, this is freaking insane. Well, it's like, I'm, wow. I'm not sure if he still if he will still be played as a mid hero. This patch, to be honest, um, it looks like a support hero. See. But I don't know. The, the cooldown is only four seconds, so that's pretty sick. Yeah. So damage at level one is one hundred fifty. Anyway, the fourth skill, the ultimate, it's Tempest Double. Basically, it creates a copy of itself, and that copy can use um, items as well as skills. And I think it's a Z an Z copy of itself. But enemies can distinguish um, it from the hero. It's darker, apparently. But I I believe well, it takes so what uh, is, uh, it takes the same same damage. Yeah, it takes the same damage. But uh, actually, at level one, right, for the ultimate, you actually use your HP. Yeah. So there's a health cost to make a double, and um, the items you can use are non-consumable, so you can't do smokes, tango, sows, celebrities. You can do Midas. You can do refresher, hex, Fosta. All these are fine. Um, which is why there is a popular Midas build. Because you can just, uh, you know, tempest double every oh. time you manage yourself. Cooldown is... yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, fuck, why this is sick, man? Damn, that's so sick. So, it shows how much research you've done. But, uh, <laughs> I've not done much research, <laughs> It's alright, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, because I the cooldown is about this. But, um, uh, Midas, yeah, yeah. Every time Midas is off so cooldown, you can, you can actually create. you can actually place uh, two magnetic two magnetic fields beside each other, uh, like the first one for defensive and the other one for uh, offensively, for your guys to attack. Oh yeah, so they go can, inside uh, the other one to attack, and they stay. Yeah, you can actually put multiple yeah. fucks on different heroes, so once they do not group up, they will start taking damage, and it will slow them. So, pretty good pick off. Uh, I feel, uh, I guess, being agility is fine. I mean, he's a mid hero. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure people will find a way to play him in. I don't think he's a support. At this point, I just don't see him being a support hero. Okay, fair enough. 
You are the winner. I mean, maybe you. You are. Well, <laughs> yeah, the Tony <laughs> winner, man. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's just just my opinion. I mean, and not nothing is set in stone. Especially he he just got ported to Dota too, so he's yeah. so new that. Uh, he's not gonna be in. We're not right? sure. Nah, he's not yeah, in captain's he's mode. He's not gonna be in captain's mode. All right, let's go back to the. He is then. Uh, something is wrong. Let's go back to the. Uh, All right, let's go back. The patch itself, the patch notes itself. Okay. So <laughs> new rune, new rune, arcane rune. Um, all spells cooldowns to be reduced by thirty percent, and mana cost to be reduced by fifty percent. Last for fifty seconds. Why your thoughts on the new rune? Um, I think it's uh, all right. It's nothing. I mean, it's, it's huge, uh. Sure, uh, it's huge, but uh, just a rune, man. Eh? Never know if you'll get it. Uh, if you do, I mean, it's not like the bounty rune which uh, spawns at the start. How do you think it compares to you know, like haste and double damage? I feel like uh, double damage, invisibility, and or haste will still be still stronger. Unless, uh, I mean, the thing is, the point of runes is you can't rely on it. And um, you go there every two minutes, and uh, there is no sure thing for runes. That's what I'm trying to say. Like uh, you know, one of them will be bounty, and the other one will be a assortment of runes. So if you get a double damage, it will benefit you. Like uh, I think the most useless one is illusion at this one time in the game, because it doesn't yeah, do much. Illusion. Unless um, you're on, like haze heroes, double so. haze double damage and <laughs> yeah, haze double damage and invisibility are superior. And uh, I don't think this arcane um, will be useful. Well, it's I think it's since like people can't really. I mean, it, it is can useful, but it, you can't right? really rely on it. Yeah, if you bottle it, you can save it. You know, if you have low cooldown spells like uh, if you have Zeus or whatnot, not, you know, like Zed, if you're him. <laughs> Imagine about you know your riffs. How many times can you cast it? So things like that. Mm. Um, I don't think it will break the game. <laughs> I, I think, think let's say if you're like uh, like Dragon Knight or you have a long cooldown ulti, so you save the brune and then you uh, bottle it and you activate it and use your ulti, then your ulti is okay. cooldown. Yeah, that way I guess it helps too. But um, you gotta, I mean, it's just a it's just a happy addition, I guess. It's not something yeah, it's, that it's not game breaking. You can play around. Yeah, it's not something you can play around. So, I think it's inconsequential at this point. Hmm. Okay. Unless we see people start relying on the rune, then uh, yeah, they creep, then what I'll say will be wrong. <laughs> they creep bounty in. Okay, let's move on. They creep bounty increased by oh. one gold per normal upgrade cycle. Basically, every time cost creeps get stronger every seven minutes and thirty seconds, right? So yeah. they basically you basically get more farm. Yeah, Do you think it's affect... a minor. <laughs> minor? Okay. Uh, I mean, it, it's good. Uh, it's good that uh, we are getting more money for farming on, uh, but I don't think it will change anything. Moving yeah, on. Siege damage against heroes increased from 75% to 85%. Basically, towers and siege units do approximately 13% more damage to heroes. That's actually well, I'm not happy deal, with right? this uh, because I feel like uh, mm. can't really dive towers at level one. It stops the uh, early game tempo, so to say. You you don't see people uh, dying in Slada, diving the safe lane and whatnot. Because of this change, uh, I don't know. We're making it more towers are way stronger, and um, it doesn't help the game. I, I guess it does to a certain extent. Uh, by you don't want uh, early aggression, you want to discourage it by. I'm not sure what Ice Frog is doing here, you know. He wants to encourage us to slow down the game and <sighs> Yeah, it seems spam like whatnot. last patch he wanted us to This is the right To like yeah, mean, The thing is, we'll never know what Ice Frog wants different. We, we, can't, we can only speculate Now yeah. it looks like the game is too slowed down Yeah, and um, you know, he wants to slow it down which is why he increased the tower damage but I feel like um, this might be a hindrance you think this some this... play styles? Mm. So this I think this will change a lot. Uh. Promote people more, will, like, more people passive see... play. Yeah, more passive play and uh, the fact that you will slow down and you will farm because uh, you you feel like uh, you're stronger because they can't really dive you. Because um, early aggression mostly ends up in tower diving in uh, the current patch. 
Mm. So if they can't dive you, you feel safer <clears throat> and you tank farm. Do you think so more defensive heroes? Fighting... Will be yeah, picked. you think more defensive heroes. Okay. Yeah. Or hero... even like more offensive heroes who can just stay in the tower. And defend well, not for, afraid, you know. for ages. Yeah. The hero base HP increased from 150 to 180. How significant is that? Well, the, it's, 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 it's the same issue. Uh. I mean, it's not it's significant. Good. It's probably like one last hit, but uh, you know, like a level one, uh, you kill them with your last hit. After this patch, you will no longer be able to do it. So, so level one skirmishes <laughs> will not may may not result in like in four deaths or five deaths. You know, some some of sometimes like five v five and for rude. You won't see stuff. You won't see, you stuff, won't see like stuff like that, that anymore. <coughs> Plus, right. um, yeah, on. What about okay? Creeps now arrive slightly closer to the top dire tower and the bottom radiant tower. Looks like an off lane change, right? Sitting off lane change. So it's harder, harder for the off laner. Yeah, it's harder for the off laner. Right. And um, I think yeah. this comes into conjunction with the uh, fact that the offlaners now have a pool camp that they can pull. They do. So essentially, <coughs> essentially you'll see um, ideally uh, in every lane or in, in, in the both longer lanes, uh, you'll see people uh, pulling, the offlaners pulling and the safe laners pulling. So, uh, all, so basically it's that... very... You, you think that all the lanes will be like... Off lane, yeah, so safe people, lane. So you'll see, uh, you'll see the carry just staying behind the tower, you know, waiting for the creeps. But the support is pulling, the off lane is pulling. Uh, supports can pull through. Now I think it's harder, but you can still be done. You can double pull for your uh, for your off lane. You can't really double pull. So you know, I feel like uh, and that's something you can do from thirty minutes onwards. You know, so it's uh, I think how to put this in words. The same flames farm will be affected by this this map, this new map, and whatnot. And um, because of that, we might see more supports transitioning into the jungle, so they do not take the safe laner's farm. We might, need, we might see the safe laner pool by, by himself. You understand what I mean? Yeah, I understand what you mean. So you, you yeah. think I hope this I will encourage more up. jungle play? <laughs> uh, way more jungle play. Since. Um, like the enemy is pulling and the creeps can't come, the creeps can't come, your safe lane carry doesn't get EXP and or farm. So you have to put him somewhere. If you ask him to pull, where will your support go? I mean, the off laner is not going to come out because the off laner is pulling himself. So I, I haven't tried it, but I think that's how it's going to work. So you'll see more jungling heroes. All right. And uh, with the new items, I think that there'll be more jungling heroes. Or more heroes that uh, might not be a jungler, but be able to jungle with the right items. So the next change is a random draft hero pool increased from 24 to 50. Added random draft to rank matchmaking. Random draft now uses the same picking mechanics as ranked or picked. Mm, I don't think you're that interested in this, right? Uh, random drafting, because I, mean, I think the only I don't think the only mode that really matters is uh, Captain's Mark, right? Yeah, this one time. Yep. So it's like uh, in inconsequential, I think. Alright. Center Causer, Centaur Causer now has a stacking magic resistance aura. Which is the Centaur Causer? Is it the. Oh, this is a small neutral from the Centaur Cam. I think it's the smaller one. Yeah. 20% for units, 5% for heroes. Actually, all the. Like, the Hellbear now has a stacking magic resistance aura as well. Same thing. Dragon Dragon Heights armor is stackable. Let's let's talk about the magic resistance or right? Like Yeah, okay. I'm sure you have quite a lot to talk about regarding this these two changes. Now Well what... I feel like um the, uh you okay, with this right? Yeah. For example a medium camp. Or okay, let's say a large camp. You see Centos, you're an SF, you're in mid, you're a reading. With the tree you come and stack it. You see the hell bear. How are you gonna raise them now at level six? You're not. <laughs> that that's that, that's just it. You're not. 
Yeah, which is why uh, I think it's yeah he's trying to make it he it's pro whatever you know he's trying to make it so that uh, it's harder for people to actually uh, stack harder for it's it's fine for the support to stack it's it's easy to stack but you can't really clear the camp fast enough in lower levels so it will it will affect heroes like SF for sure. Do you think this will result in more like tempo controlling mids being picked, or do you think it's the same? Oh, I I, I hope so. I mean, I'm sick of the farming mids, but uh, at the end of the day, um, if you want to pick a farming, you have to risk not clearing the stacks fast enough, and um, the enemy might catch up. I mean, you're trying to catch up, but if you can't clear fast enough, you can't catch up. Essentially, you know. Cause the uh, Medjugorje stacks, so I'm not sure if it stacks to high heaven, you know. Mm, so you hope that I, there will be a I, I, change I, I, in, yeah, in the mid meta. I hope there will be change in mid, mid yeah, mid meta. So you can no longer um, stack and stack and fall back and fall. Yeah, that's that's how I see it. Do you think like and, what uh, what do I you like think takes stacks the like most efficient? Like what kind of heroes do you think? Like anti mages or? Well, it used to be shadow. It used to be shadow free. Yes. anti mage, you need a battle fury, which you don't get quite early. And by the time you have a battle fury, you'll be fine, you know. So is there a point in stacking camps for shadow fin? Well, for and Lina. for your shadow fin, no, I, 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 Lina, no, nah, I don't think so. Especially with this. There's no point. I don't think there's point in stacking Lina. Or um, do you, you stack, stack it for the carries? You then? might, you might be able to stack it for a wind ranger because of her change. I think second wind ranger is fine. Can we do ancient swing ranger now? That's another thing. We'll get to that later. <laughs> have you seen the change? Yeah, we'll get to that later. Actually, actually I, mean, I, have I have not seen the change. I have not seen the change, man. So. Yeah, no change. Yeah. So, uh, it'll be a surprise uh, for me too. Power shot. Power shot. You. Yeah. You won't decrease damage. Oh, power shot. Okay, is so let's move on. Sim okay, okay. Dragon height or yeah, us. It doesn't get decreased damage. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay. That's sick. Dragon Height Aura stackable armor increased from 2 to 3. Uh, Ancient Dragon's armor reduced by 1. I guess that's why that, that cancel each other out, right? Not sure. But yeah. Ancient Neutrals now behave like normal neutrals and split experience with all heroes in the AoE. Well, I think that's about time. Should have been like that in the first well, place. I like, that. I, I, I like that a lot. It was there in the first place, then I think they, they switched. Yeah, it was in a map changing, uh, they switched it and uh, what happened was uh, when the ancients get, get killed by Radiant, the Dire, let's say if you're bounty under, if you're standing beside, you don't get a single tip of XP. So, yeah. it's good, it's good. Added a new ability to Ancient Black Dragon, Fireball. Targets an area, the Fireball is basically an ability that targets an area and hurls a fire blast towards it. 300 AOE for 10 seconds, deals 85 damage per second. Oh, I feel like uh, this th this is only needed if you are a life stealer or a churn with an ancient script. Other than that, it's just uh, it's just there, you know. It's just there for if you need it. Okay, next. Ancient Thunder Heights Frenzy is not unit targetable. Um, what's that? I'm not sure why it does. I guess it's more of that churn. For ancients. I, I, don't, I think it's more of a churn upgrade. Since. Yeah. Hugh Tro oh, Priest oh. mana aura increase from 2 to 3. Satyrs banishes put purge cooldown reduced from 5 to 3 seconds. Wow. The purge. What? 3 second purge? Yep. I, don't, I don't think the damage is a lot though. I mean, you can constantly slow a person down and slightly. Yeah, but. Uh, but I, I think you can push. Somewhat that. similar to the flying unit. You can push Iron Shell now. Push what? Pretty sure you can push Iron Shell. Yeah, yeah, Iron Shell. Satyr Tormentor's unholy aura regen increase from 4 to 6. Uh, Satyr's Tormentor shockwave distance from 800 to 1.2k. That's pretty big, the range. Shockwave speed reduced from one, uh, 1050 to 900. Shortwave damage increase from 125 to 160. Throw some well, Hopefully we'll see more um, jungling. Hopefully we'll see more of the uh, uh no more, uh, more more videos of uh, the so listen, 
more more videos of the tormentor killing people. <laughs> because uh, the the idea the the activation of uh, creeps still now is uh, I think there's three or more heroes around around, around the creep. Like Centaur was not on the street anymore. I think uh, the Sator will throw out the uh, shockwave if you if there's three or more and your life is below hundred. Yeah, so we'll hopefully we'll see more neutrals killing kills from both teams. That's all I gotta say, you know. We move on to the Dark Troll Summoner. Yeah, Dark Troll Summoner and Hue Troll's attack range reduced from 500 to 400. That's the Troll Camp, right? And yeah, that's, a, that's a Troll Camp. Troll Summoner attack damage increased by 6. Uh, uh, I, I don't think this is going to change anything. Yeah, me too. Roshan's base armor increased by 1. Roshan's BAT increased by 1.0 to 2.0 and it now has a plus 100 attack speed it now has plus 100 attack speed so apparently it's affected less by negative attack speed like Skadi and and she was okay. I mean it's harder to take him down yeah added a patrol command there's one armor Ah, so this is what we needed for more country. Yeah, a patrol command. You're not able to bring up the targeting cursor when silence. Instead, and instead get get the error upon the targeting, rather than clicking the button. Oh, I think I get this. Like when you have silence, right? You can yeah, precast yeah. Norm normally and spell, you can right? Yeah, you can precast. Yeah. Kind of precast it, but not exactly precasting. Yeah. Yeah. Single target with AoE effects now have a new targeting UI. Hmm. Okay. So uh, what happens is... Uh, hmm? it, it, it looks clearer of uh, how big the effect is, so to speak. New UI, you know. It looks way clearer now, compared to before. As to you might not know uh, the range of your spell. Oh, so my phone call. Let me moving. Uh, yeah. moving on. I have to take this. What oh. is that? I think this is causing some static. Are you still there? Okay. Never mind. Anyway, guys, we'll be taking a short break. Since Mr. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, you're I'm back? back? Okay. Okay, you're back, you're back. Yeah, that back. was the screen. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be fast. It's gonna be fast. Alright. Alright, ranked yeah. or pick initial pre picking time reduced from 15 to 5 seconds. Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> towers. I think this is just a time saver. Yeah. Towers now. Have a... time, yeah. Huh. I didn't know Tower had XP bonus. XP? Towers no longer have a yeah, very I mean, when, minor when, XP. Yeah, it's still something you. Oh, I, 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 I you give, you give the XP, uh. Yeah, I guess it doesn't have now. Nice. Yeah. Simplified some minor damage type and armor types. Uh. Well, I think this is this is to do with uh. Pure. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. <laughs> terrain. Now I'll, I'll we'll skip terrain. Alright, we can't see terrain, so. Yeah, I'll skip yeah, the entire thing. It's really hard to describe. Okay, back now on the heroes, alchemist. Grievous Grid Bounty Rune Multiplier reskilled from 5 times to 3, 4, 5, 6 times. Uh, fixed Grievous Grid granting full gold during buyback gold penalty phase. Yes, how, how, I, how I see this is um, for Grievous Grid at the start, you can't get the um, 300 gold that you can, the Alchemist can now. So it's better. Or, I mean, it, it's enough, lah, but it's better again. It's way better again. Next time. Bane. Movement speed reduced from 315 to 310. Not much. Fine right? enough. Fine enough. Bad Fine Rider. Enough. Yeah. Base HP regen increased from 0 0.25 to 2.0. Flame Break mana cost reduced from 140 to 110, 120, 130, 140. How big of a buff is, is this? Pet Rider is back. Uh, it's back. Is it official? 
can we can we call it, can we officially uh, officially say that Bad Rider is back? I don't want to officially say anything. Why don't you say in your Batman? Still can't jungle. Why don't you ask Mister 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 Wayne? No, Why I'm then? not gonna ask Miss Bruce. Oh, no, he's not Bruce. Bruce. I'm not ask Bruce. Right. But uh, in, in, in in any case, uh, I feel like uh, he still can't jungle properly. But uh, the base HP regen does help him survive more in the off lane. And uh, if he can off lane pool, maybe he doesn't he maybe doesn't need the jungle anymore. You know, maybe he can just like accept, get the XP and farm that he needs. Yeah, that's all I feel. He might be back. We don't know if he'll be back. He might be back. Who knows? Okay. Beastmaster, wall access no longer is unique targeting. Call of the Wild cooldown is skewed from 40 to 40, 42, 38, 34, 30. Buff. Uh, this helps with your hawk. Uh, small buff. Oh, it might be negligible, so. Does it, um. Wait, how long is the hawk duration? I have to look it up. Yeah, let me look it up actually. Does it mean that you can summon summon tree at one one go? Maybe you might be able to summon tree. Might since the cooldown is thirty seconds now. I said you might be able to like, tree uh, tree up at one time. You know. All right. Let's see. Call of the world. Duration sixty seconds. Uh, still two. Still two. You need to be 20 seconds before you can summon three. Okay. Let's move on. Um, yeah, but. Yep, yeah. Go ahead. Next. Alright. Blood Seeker. Blood Right. Cooldown is skipped from 29, 26, 23, 20 to 30, 25, 20, and 15. Big, small, Which, uh, nerf, think, big, uh, big, small buff. Minor buff. I think it's a big buff. It's a big buff? Yeah, I think it's a big buff. Because uh, you can now cast Blood Rider, I think, twice per fight. At least. Because I used to be 20 seconds, now it's 15, so. Possibly. You know, yes. fights. But do you think Blood Seeker as a hero time. is. Like. Do you think he's meta? Do you think he will be meta? Or is he's is, is pickable? Do you think he's good? I think he's pickable, he won't be meta. They might start jungling with. Might. Help. With the new item changes, I mean with the new <laughs> item changes, I think a lot, a lot yeah. of heroes can jungle. Yeah, a lot of heroes can jungle now. But we'll get to that later, right? right? Yeah, yeah. yeah we will. Bounty Hunter Jinada movement attack speed reduction increased from 25% to 20, 25, no, to 25, 27, 29, 31. Mm, it's a buff. Yeah, I'm not sure this is the, uh, this is the buff the doctor ordered, but uh, if you look at the patch and uh, if you feel like there'll be more jungling heroes, this is definitely the entire jungling hero. And uh, it's good that um, he's getting this. Do you think he was like he severely really weakened in 0.85 last patch? Yeah, with the yeah, he was. Uh, he didn't see much. He didn't see much play. And um, that stats. That's not something I can just come up with. So maybe this will make him see much more play. Whether it's first ban or top tier, I can't tell. It might be. It very well might be. Okay. Brewmaster. Dragon Haze cooldown reduced from 8 to 8, 7, 6, 6, 5. Primal Split is Dispel Magic. Damage to summons increased from 200 to 500. Uh, dispel Magic cooldown reduced from 6 to 4. Windwalk cooldown reduced from 7 to 5. I would say that this is a... Uh, this is a big buff for the... For the storm brewing. What? But what do you think? Yeah, I think uh, huge buff. He might be back. Might be back. Um, it's pretty good. He will now. I mean, his skills got changed. Um, especially the storm one. Like you said, um, put down for wind wall. I think he can do three times now at level three, or even more than that. I used to be able to do like once or twice. You know, so now you can uh, activate a more for the bonus damage. The spell magic doesn't change much, um, unless you are up against like a beastmaster or a lycan, you know, or an invoker. 
Uh, Dragon Haze cooldown is good. 5 seconds. I love her. I mean, normally it's not a skill that you pick up first. So, um, yeah. maybe Ice Rock is trying to get you to put like 2 points in it. Or value. I'm not sure. I think uh, he'll be back at mid. Bristol back. Um, added accepted. Bristol back. Bristol back. Let's see. Nasal Ghoul is no longer targeted. Instead, it applies good to all enemies around you in an AO 600 AoE shopping. I mean, 600 AoE when casted. Nasal Ghoul mana cost reduced from 30 to 25. Close play max damage increased from 400 to 450. You think um, so I get him this call? So with, with Scepter, I mean, it, it, it is good, but I don't think it's call. Because you don't pick uh, BB for this slow. I mean, eventually when he gets enough money or if there's alchemists on the team, he can give you the Aghanims. Aghanims upgrade is good, but it's not core. Cool. Yeah, but basically it makes it like you don't have to stop and cast it. And cast Nasal Ghoul. You just like, yeah, you, don't have to stop and cast you just run and run an enemy and just spam Nasal Ghoul. But look at how many items you have to get as a BB before you can uh, efficiently yeah, tank. I mean, if you go straight X, I don't think uh, it helps. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, yeah it doesn't really yeah. help. It does nothing. But you can't but go straight, so the therefore. Yeah, correct. Because BB is not. Like and you won't level up Goof. It's not. It's you won't level, level you know Goof first. You know. That's. Yeah, first, you won't level up Goof. is physical, correct? Uh, I believe it's physical. Yeah. So, Nasal Goo increases Quick Spray damage, cause it reduces armor. So, yeah, technically, yes. if the okay, enemy is on you. Technically, but, but, but you have to be high enough level to use Bristol Bag. Um, Kill Spray. And nasal go. That's the thing. It'll be high enough level to use all three skills. And uh, you can't go for a silly build. I mean, you're always gonna you're always gonna max either kill spray or Mister Bay. You're not gonna max nasal go first. Okay. So like, uh, I think this is not core. It might be a very very late game item with extra money. It definitely helps. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I think it's a pretty good item for Bristol Bag though. Like, Bristol Bag needs the mana and the stats from X. Yeah, but you can't go Agonim straight. Yeah. You need you other items like, like your Vanguard and Mona. Or your tanky items. It doesn't tank you. Uh. Then you need tank. Or BB. Brute Mother. Spawn Spiraling's damage reduced from 75. 150, 225, 300, 2, 70, 140, 210, 280. This is 20 damage reduction. Not that big a deal. Uh, nothing much. Uh, nothing much. Centaur War Runner return damage increased from 30, 42, 54, 66 to 30, 45, 60, 75. Thoughts? Um, minor buff. Very minor. Alright. Because you uh, again you don't take return first, so you know. Chaos Knight. Reality with bonus damage increased from 60, 80, 100, 120 to 60, 100, 140, 180. That's actually a big increase at the last level. 60 damage increase. Damage at the last level. Yeah. But um, he's still a hero that is dependent on uh, allies. So we shall see what happens. Uh. It, it, it's, a, it's a good change. It's a good buff. The right direction. Next, Chen. Base strength increased from 20 to 23. Penitence mana cost reduced from 100 to 100 to 70. Penitence duration increased from 5, 6, 7, 8 to 8. Yep, I, I like this change. Does it bring Chen back? Yeah, you might see him back. Do you think because of what like what they're doing with Chen and what they're doing with the ancients, do you think Team Secret I mean do, do you think like Puppy would would actually he might abuse prioritize Chen? It more. Yeah? He might he might abuse it. <laughs> abuse isn't rival, but he might play way more. Um, what tier do you think? If you if you can make a prediction, right? Like what what do you think? Do you think Chun will be tier one, tier two? Then too early to make. Uh, too early to make. Tier one, I think. Tier one, okay. Yeah, I think it'll be tier one. Yeah. 
things. Agility growth increased from 3 to 3.3. Just making the highest agility growth. Yeah, I think it's close. So uh, I believe Mirana is the that's highest. That's right? that. Or is it Venge? I think it's Mirana. I can't remember Mirana or Venge, one of them. Yeah, but uh, this this helps for sure. But um, whether it helps in the long term or not, for the growth of said hero, I'm not sure. <laughs> you don't see people picking things. Clockwork. Strength growth increased from 2.7 to 2.9. Power cocks now spawn in a circle rather than a rectangle. Thoughts? So now he's a clock. Now he's a clock. Yeah, cause he's wrong. I'm not sure about like creep blocking. Like maybe it's easier to creep block. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. Okay, the 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 area beside you is way bigger than previously. I'm not sure if you've seen the photo of the round cocks, but the area beside you is way bigger. Cause um, I think they use six. Now to make a circle. I think it's six, I can't remember. The photo I saw just now. So Instead of using the uh, eight. So it's easier to. I think it's easier to trap someone inside. And to trap creeps inside. It's harder for. Harder for you to um, block the terrain off. Because it's round. I mean, you have to be very skilled. Because last time it was straight, right? You knew uh, exactly where it was. I mean, um, heroes like this, you need experience to know when to cops and whatnot, so... Yeah. When people learn it, I think it will be a non-issue. Crystal Maiden. Crystal Nova cooldown reduced from 13 to, 20, to 12. Uh, Arcane Aura. Level 4 mana regen increased from 2.5. Allied, Allied Self. Then 2.55 to 3.6. Nah, not much of a difference there. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. This makes me want to max uh, the aura first, you know. Mm. Because um, the hero in a sort of itself, uh, you, you need one level 4 spike to jungle, so you might not even take Crystal Nova. You might just go um, 0, 2, 3. Yeah. The extra mana regen for your team and yourself as well. Daxia, base in base int reduced from twenty seven to twenty five. Iron shower is not put is now purgeable. <laughs> Iron shower uh, is now purgeable. Yeah, I think he got dumpstered. To the prehistoric age. Uh, uh, close close to the prehistoric age, but uh, to the trench. To the trench. Yeah, to the trench. <laughs> one of your favorite heroes, Dazzle. Is it one of your favorite heroes? Oh, you can see so. Poison touch mana yeah, cost reduced from. Playing, yeah, you, you have. <laughs> Poison touch mana cost reduced from 100 to 70. Shallow grave cost point increased from 0 0.3 to 0 0.35. Shallow grave mana cost increased from 141, 31, 20, 110 to 150. Ouch. Reef no longer provides 800 flying vision. Now provides ground vision for the AoE of the ability for 3 seconds. Uh, this hurts a lot. Yeah. Um, okay, they're trying. They're trying to buff poison. They're trying to buff uh, poison touch, but um, the thing is, not many people take it. I do take it, uh, uh, like one level in it, and then uh, I'll max kill first, pull back grave. Uh, that's what I do. Some people, some pros, some players don't even put a point in it. I mean, it's good for harassment, I feel. But it doesn't really do much. So maybe they are trying to advocate more people to, to use it for lower mana cost. But uh, on the other side, you increase the mana cost of shallow grave. Now, um, like 150 mana, this this quite a lot at the start. It's 10 more mana than you would, and at the end, it's even worse um, when you're constantly spamming up your hill. And uh, you need good uh, mana control, so to speak. And the change to weave doesn't help his cause because now um, he gets like ground vision instead of flying, and the flying vision was really important, especially for like scouting Roshan. Uh... Uh, for to scout Star and uh, your grace, the cast point change. Uh, well, I guess not that big, but. Uh, you would say that it's harder to get a cut, Grave of. Be harder than it used to be. So, yeah. Uh, I don't think that this hero will be played <coughs> more. But uh, I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Death Prophet. 
disabled in CM, <coughs> uh, replace witchcraft with a new ability, Spirit Siphon. Creates a spirit link between you and the target. It drains 20 plus 1, 1 1.8, 2.6, 3.4% of your max HP per second and slows movement speed by 6, 10, 14, 18, last 4 seconds. So it drains about, at max level, it drains uh, 20 HP plus 12 point, there's more than that, man, 13.6% of your max HP per second. Yeah, and um, not per second. Thirteen percent, thirteen thirteen point six percent of the max HP plus twenty. So it's about eighty, right? Yeah, and um, it has charges, so you can actually keep casting it <coughs> after it ends. For level four, yes, four what? charges can con continue wow. to cast it. Yeah, that sounds really OP. <laughs> it sounds really it's really OP. It's out of Captain's mode. It's out of Captain's mode. You know. And um, they remove witchcraft and they give her like, additional movement speed. Um, quick sound has a cooldown now reduced to five seconds at level four. Helps you spam out the wave. So I think they are improving the hero overall to try to get her back in the meta. But uh, we might not see her there because she's too overpowered. <sighs> Let's see. Base, yeah, the, basically all the, I think most of the witchcraft was basically like included in the hero right now, right? And they bas yeah, basically yeah, give her another skill. Yeah, they kind of did that for all the heroes that got reworked. Yeah, so we can see them later. <laughs> I said, I think Doom, Doom, they get it. Yeah, you can see Doom now. It's removed from CM. Replace level death with new ability Infernal Blade. Uh, mini stuns for I think it's an auto attack, or at least it's a mini attack. Mini stands for 3.3 seconds, applies a 4 second burn that deals 40 plus 1.25, 5, 2.5, 3.75, 5% of max HP as magic damage. I feel like this skill is weaker than level death. Um, but uh, it's the cooldown is 4 seconds, so it's sort of like a farming tool for him at the start, but you're not going to take it at the start. So. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that's true. The BAT Actually, though, the, skill, uh... the BAT got yeah. really dumpstered. Yeah, it's 1.7 to 2.0, it's retarded BAT. Is that the yeah, highest Scott BAT? Scott, Scott Shove got nerfed and uh, Doom got nerfed. So pretty much everything got nerfed. Uh, the new skill, I can't really say if it's a nerf or a buff, but I think it's a nerf at this moment. I don't know, I think it's probably a buff, but then... But then the BAT is so bad, and the, all the skills are all reduced to shit. Ah, uh, nerfed to shit, so I I don't think people will even pick this, even if it's included in Captain's Spot. <laughs> oh, we shall see. Yeah. Anyway, it's not, so... But Dragon Knight! Dragon Knight! Wow, Dragon Blood HP regen increased from 2, 3, 4, 5 to 3, 6, 9, 12. That is more than two times. <laughs> Yeah, that is more than two times at next level. Yeah, I mean they're trying to get him back in the meta, so this will help the region. And the sure. and the LT AOE, Elder form Elder Dragon form Frost AOE increased from two fifty to three hundred. Yeah, uh overall good buffs. Maybe we'll see, maybe not, you know. Draw Ranger. Added scepter to draw ranger. Marksmanship now causes her attacks to splinter on the target and split into two arrows, affecting two random units in the 375 radius. The splintered arrows deal 50% damage each. Primary target still takes full damage. And the split arrows act as normal attacks, carrying all attack modifiers, including like lifesteal, crit, uh, s slow. Frost arrow slow, right? Like All this. Yeah, except it's better, but you need an Aghanim Scepter though. Do you think Scepter? Yeah, you need Aghanim Scepter. Do you think Scepter is nah, core? No draw? core. Nah, it can't be core. Can't be core. But it, it, in, like, it increases the farm speed by so much. Like, she farms so fast with this with Scepter, I think. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess she can farm a lot faster, but uh, you're likely to get a defensive item first on her, and then uh, your attack items, and just keep her up from the fight. Like, you know, once they go on you, you're dead, because you're a glass cannon, sort of, and it's drunk. You can't really escape. But you do do, you do, do solid damage, uh, I mean, for what it's worth. Earth Spirit. <laughs> Enabled Earth Spirit in Captain's mode. Oh dear. Oh. In growth reduced from 2.4 to 2.1. Boulder Smash stun area reduced from 200 to 160. German and Grip now can can only put ally, put ally units with the unit scepter. That is a big, big nerf. You can basically, yeah, you basically cannot... Also... Yeah, you cannot pull heroes anymore unless you have a scepter. So we don't we don't know if uh, he'll be useful now since uh, it's kind it's kind of like they needed to nerf him enough for him to get into competitive, you know. I think. I, I think this grip thing is yeah. I think they did they did it. Cause the, the main to... point of Earth Spirit was to save your allies from like insane distances and nothing that people can do about it. And then you can initiate and, uh, from you can it. Actually one, you can see one V nine uh, if you can play properly. You can see one V five. Then yeah. Now okay, it's I mean at the start the inception of Ebola spirit. That's how it came. At about. the start, right? At the start. Yeah. When it was. Now it's it, it got constantly love and nerfed. Uh, you think I don't it's know, ready? Like, if, if you're really good at it, if you're if you're really good at it, I guess you can still excel in it because uh, the skill ceiling for this hero is really high. But if you uh. Um, you don't practice it and you do not know how the hero works. I think it's no difference. Okay, Elder Titan. Earth Spirit damage is good from 35% to 30-40-50%. Earth Splitter mana cost is good from 175 to 125, 175, 225. Earth Spirit, uh, Earth Splitter's physical damage component is no longer reduced by damage block. It's a buff, right? At least yeah, the Earth Splitter buffs. damage. Earth Splitter is the ulti, correct? Yeah, it's just the ultimate, yeah. yeah. Ember Spirit, Fire Remnants no longer give vision. I think this should have been there for a long time. I, I always thought that yeah. Fire Remnants giving vision was a bit ridiculous. Yeah, it's a bit OP. Yeah, but I think Ember Spirit is still really strong though. Hmm. Enchantress. Enchant cooldown reduced from 30-25-2015 to 30-25-30-24-18-12. What do you think of Enchantress? I actually have something to say, but um, I think you can go first. Okay, uh, there's a new item that increases the range. Yeah, that's what I say that. Oh, your attacks. So, uh, it's gonna be really, really good now. Uh, you, I mean, you use Enchant to get creeps at the start for the jungle, so Towards the end, you don't really need Enchant for creeps anymore if you're going for the damage build So I don't think this changes, but the item show changes her a lot In Petus, in Petus, right, it's, um, does it, is it like, does it ignore your attack range? Or does it, um, or yeah, does it have its own attack range? Further. It's one attack range is your max attack range, I mean. I think if uh Agadims it increases, right? Yeah, with Agadims it increases and uh if you have um new item, I can't remember the name, something lands. So uh, the question is down. if let's say I use an entrances, I buy the item that increases your attack range. So technically yeah. a, a non agonim scepter in Patterns will have increased attack range, correct? Or no? Yeah. It will, right? Yeah, so it will still have increased. It will still so have you increased. buy an Agadim Scepter and then you buy the item that increases attack range for spells. Lens. The Aether Lens. Yeah. So you will have. It will increase. Are you, are you, so are you saying that it has like three. What? So <laughs> Agadim Scepter increases attack range. Aether Lens and the item that increases your own attack range. Does it do they all stack? Yeah, Aether Lens. Aether Lens is the one that increases your attack range. The, 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 the so spell one, right? Um, this, 
No, no, the, the, that's the range one, I believe. Oh, wait, yeah, let me just the go with... Oh, yeah, let me just go with the items. Uh... Oh, yeah, okay, the, the range one is Dragonlance, yeah. Yeah, the range one is Dragonlance. Dragonlance, Dragonlance, Dragonlance yeah? So you, so you put, dra they put Dragonlance, uh... I, I, okay, I think that's a auto attack. So, I think it improves from Dragonlance. I don't think it improves from Eternance. Because, uh, you can't really cast Impetus. It's targetable, Then again, I'm not sure. Oh, it is targetable, but it, isn't it like a right click? Like, if you, uh, put it to... If you put auto it auto, it's a right click. But if you don't put it auto, it's, it's targetable. Well, well, I'm confused. I believe confused. you can put it auto uh, towards the late game. So, both of these items might help. We have to try out to see which which uh, works, oh. so to say. But uh, yeah, very good items for her. That's actually sick, man. If if both if these two items stack, then your uh, you can be I, shooting okay. impetus from. I don't what? think both will stack. I don't think both items will stack. Uh, it's probably either one. If it does, uh, then it's pretty over. What about like Draw Ranger Viper? Do, do, does the Aether Lens stack? I mean, does Aether Lens increase the range? Yeah, that's the question. Yeah, that's the question. question. We, we, don't know, uh, we have to try it out, right? Sure the, I'm pretty sure the uh, Dragon Lance will help, for sure. Alright, moving on to Enigma. Eidolon movement speed increased from 250 to... Basically to 320. Uh, three, yeah, a sixty MS increase at max level. That is nice. Manifest damage increased from twenty five forty fifty five seventy seventy to thirty fifty seventy ninety. Twenty damage increased. Oh, uh, certainly helps. Uh, certainly helps on the uh, for for his jungling here. You know? The movement, they can move faster and whatnot. Um. Damage from Melopis, I'm not going to pick it first, but uh, it does help towards the league game. Do you think... Uh, the do you think it's, with uh, the... It's, it's a small issue, I feel. Small issue? Do you think with the Arcane, uh, arcane Rune and this buffs to Enigma, do you think Enigma is back? This is yeah, like but, more... Uh, like I said, it's very dependable on the rune. And, and the jungling, apparently the jungling meta, you can call it. Not sure if it's meta, but it looks like it's going to be a jungling meta. Yeah, you it think does, it does. Enigma, it does. you think we'll see some we puppy black holes? Yeah, we, we might. You might. Or some, uh, or some PDD black holes. Air holes. PGG, you mean? PGG, yeah, my bad. Faceless Void. <laughs> Remove from CM. Replace Backtrack with a new ability, Time Dilation. Applies the debuff to nearby enemies for. Six seven eight nine seconds causes time to be frozen on all of their abilities. Basically, make, making the cooldowns no longer no no pro causing the two girls to make no progress while they have this debuff. Slows attack movement speed by four six eight ten percent for each lock ability. Hmm. This how does this work? Like what uh, scenario? It's just a scenario. Well, when 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 someone when you see someone uses the ability, you cast it, and then it'll be slowed for forty percent. I think uh, this is how um, it is now. What if, for example, so, uh, right? Yeah. Like a tight hunter blinks in, he ravages, and you yeah. cast time dilation on the tight hunter. Mm. Does yeah. it? Does refresher work? Still work. Um. No, refresher makes all cooldowns go to zero. It, uh, it's kind of a new spell, so I think that this doesn't stop refresher. It doesn't stop refresher. The refresher overrides yeah, this. Yeah, I don't think it stops refresher. Yeah, overrides this. Hmm. So like. But but uh, if you do it after hmm. he ravages, you only get like a four percent. But if you do it after he ravages, uh, anchor smashes and gushes, then you get like uh, it. 24% because uh, there's 3 lock abilities. Yeah, I think this is very. Uh, very situational, it depends very situational on, uh, skill. The skill setting for this is really high, like you have to be yeah. really aware of uh, your enemy's skill. Cool down, and, uh, you know. We'll go on to this, other, his other skills, you know. Time walk. Other skills got changed. Basically, yeah. the big deal about time walk is it undoes any damage taken in the last 2 seconds. 
that is equivalent to a time lapse. I think, <laughs> right? Yeah, but uh, it's a basic skill. Um, is increased cooldown, uh, decreased mana cost, but the range is uh, pretty shit now. Yeah, but you don't need you don't use time out to escape anymore. Like previously, it was you always, well, you, you always use time out to escape. Used to it, used to, use to it to escape. You use it, but um, you realize right, the one at level four right is still five fifty. Yeah. It's no longer one point three k. Yeah, 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 but time out previously it didn't. Like let's say you get. You get burst like lion's flying finger. You get fingered to, hundred hundred HP. Now if you time walk, basically you don't get fingered. Yeah, but you will make sure that you are not getting control, and the fact that you don't have backtrack, right? The fact that backtrack is gone now, uh, it's more likely that you are going to be controlled more. Uh, I think this is a disgusting that spell. That when, when you, you can uh, six second time fine. lapse, man. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Why he's not in captain's mode, you know? Once they get him back to the proper level that he should be at, then we might see him. I feel like Pups might be using this hero to... to yeah, 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 Pups might be using this Pups, but uh... Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Gyrocopter... Gyrocopter, uh, call down, first missile damage reduced from 250, 300 to 250 to 220. 285, 350. Uh, I don't think this I makes, don't a think makes a difference. <laughs> you think this hero? Oh, this hero has been a top tier pick for uh, two patches already. Yeah, it actually, actually surprised. Uh, no, I mean, um, I mean, I, I'm a stats man. So in the last patch, uh, six point eight five, it wasn't really the matter at the start of the patch. At the start, it was actually at the end? Like, yeah, that's It was actually lagging behind. But to midway, midway towards matter, it actually climbed up back to the tier one spot. At the end of the patch. For six point eight four, towards the end, like midway, halfway through, I feel it suddenly became meta again. So it's like, uh, yeah, you can see for the past two patches, or for the past three patches, it's been a meta heal. Gyrocopter. Yeah, gyrocopter. Why don't why do they not nerf this hero? Do you think this hero will still be meta? Now I think. Considering. I think he might still be in the meta. The the pace of the game, now, like games yeah, should be slow. Uh, you get the dragon. If you get a dragon lance, um, okay, that doesn't actually change anything. Since yeah. Black cannon already. Yeah, it doesn't change anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the game might slow down. You might get more farm and um. Late late game, Jarcopter isn't changes. super strong. Well, he isn't. Uh, I mean, there's there's a reason why he's very strong in the early game and the mid game. Yeah, he's extremely he's strong. That then. sort of hero. So if you expect the game to go to the late game, um, like you might not see a lot of Jarcopter. You know, yeah, you might not see a lot of Jarcopter. Haskar. This guy is... Huh, Berserker's blood bonuses are provided linearly from full until 10% HP. Berserker's blood maximum magic resistance reduced from 42, 56, 70, 84 to 20, 30, 40, 50. That is a dumpster nerf. I, I think Haskar is back to the dumpster. Well, maybe. 50% compared to 84% man. <laughs> this, hero, hero is, this hero is really situational. Uh, it, it, it got its highest performance in competitive play in the last patch. So maybe when people learn how to play more without a support, they might play better now. But the thing is, your. Like, Anti Mage has the freaking 50%, has more magic resistance than this guy right now. Yep. With Shashu. Yep. <laughs> so I'm I'm not sure about Haskar, man. <laughs> well, he still provides uh, good dots, and um, you have like four or five stacks of tears on you. You are probably dead, you know. Yeah, that's, that's right. The damage, I feel, and the tankability I... in the front lines. Although, how how uh, is it tanky now? How is it tanky? How is it tanky? Tank tank he was before. Yeah, I think he's, he's, he's he like does good damage over time. His tankiness has been ha almost halved. He does good damage all the time, that's all I can see. Uh, okay, do you think he's dumpster tier now? Probably. Invoker now starts with Invoke level 1. And yeah, Invoke has a standard six, level 6, um, level 16 leveling, and at level 25, since he's missing one ability, now it has a bonus, has a bonus ability that grants uh, 6 to all stats. 
Yeah, Tots. I'm confused. Does this mean that, uh, does it mean that, like, Exhort and whatnot, uh, no longer at level 8, they are only at level 7? Is that the max level for the skills now? No, I think it basically eight, means right? that that one of the stat points, one of the skill points is, a lot of the stat points is uh, being replaced by Invoke. Because Invoke used to have uh, four levels, right? Eh? Yeah. Okay, so, 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 yeah, my bad. So it's, it's, basically, it's basically the same. Just yeah, that, it's uh, the same. It becomes three levels. Because you can learn Invoke at two. Level 25. Alright, fair enough. Uh, Jakiro base damage increased by 7. Yeah, not holding my breath. Nothing is changing. <laughs> okay. Kotto, Chakra magic cooldown reduction increased from 2, 3, 4, 5 to 3, 4, 5, 6. Chakra ma magic buff duration increased from 12 to 15. Chakra magic now restores and increases mana capacity by 75, 150, 225, 300. Not holding your breath. So if you, if, you, if you combo this with the storm, right? You can give him extra mana. Overall mana. Yeah. Just putting out there, and uh, the fact that Chakra Plus it increases has, uh, mana it capacity. Uh, yeah. It, so now the cooldown is six seconds at level four. So you combine it with these new arcane rune, maybe the Octobring core, you might have a good time. The fact is, uh, when 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 they shoot Chakra Magic, uh, I think the last patch. People were talking about the combos, but uh, they didn't really take off, you know, for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it increases so mana sure capacity by okay, that no. much. Uh. Do, you th do you think Storm? Yeah, like Storm, yeah. Might, yeah, see, like you That's said. Storm. Do you think Storm no, is no. back because of. Or Storm Kotto can be a thing? Nah. It, it can be a thing. Okay. Kunka. Add a scepter to Kunka. Actually, I have not seen this yet. Go ship now drags enemies within a 200 AOE of it towards the crash site. Well, it starts from where you are rather than behind you. Lands in the same position it normally would have. Enemies are still able to perform actions while being, cooked, while being pulled by a ghost ship. Oh. So basically the ghost ship... Okay, I guess you can blink out of that. Yeah. Since it doesn't do damage, right? Until it hits. If you have a dagger, yeah, you can blink out of it. Yeah, can blink out. Torrent now gives your team vision over target area immediately upon cast, rather than when triggered. Uh, type Ringer now is now an auto cast ability. I think it's about time this happens. This happened. Type Ringer damage increased from 20, 35, 50, 65 to 25, 40, 55, 70. Type bring out AoE from Rescued 500. Basically, it's, yeah, it's got Rescued the AoE. Ghost Ship mana cost reduced from 150 to 150, 200, 250 to 125, 175, 225. Yeah, I don't think we'll see him getting Agonyms anytime soon. The Torrent change and the Type Bringer change are good. Uh, Ghost Ship buff is good as well. You know? Yeah. Do you think Konka is the next mid hero? That? Uh, I don't think it is, to be honest. I don't think he's going to be. Okay. LC, Legion Commander. Moment of Courage cooldown reduced from 2.7, 2.1, 1.5, 2 2.9 to 2.6, 2.0, 1.4 to 0.8. Uh, Legion Commander's Scepter now makes you and your target immune to all damage. Unless the source is between the duo participants. Legion Commander Scepter Duration is now 4.75, 5 5.5, 6.25. What? So this means that uh, after you get Scepter, right, you can hold a hero out for 6.25 seconds. Yeah, you see, you're deleting the hero out of the game for 6.25 seconds. I think, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you guys are immune to damage uh, from outer sources. So it's just your right clicks, you know. And uh, the fact that they changed the moment of courage uh, for a lesser cooldown, 2.6 to level 1, uh, it helps with the jungling. Yep. A jungling LC. Yeah. The much feared jungling LC. <laughs> much feared. Do you think LC, what yeah. kind of hero is it now? 
carry of lane? Uh, I think it might be a carry hero, but you need to snowball with it. So we hope that you get a farm. You can actually play LC mid, uh, I guess. But uh, I don't know. I hope this doesn't encourage people to go to the jungle with her. But because, uh, then again, uh, commander in the jungle is. Then again, um, new item. Anyone can jungle. Anyone can do it. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So anyone can do it. Why not you? Yep. Life stealer. Reach attack speed bonus increase from 30, 30, 45, 60, 80 to 50, 60, 70, 80. Feast damage and life steal increase from 4, 5, 6 percent to 4.5, 5.5, 6.5, 7 5%. Infest cooldown reduce from 100 to 175, 50. So at 16, your infest cooldown is less than a minute. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're trying to make it top tier, but it's hard. I don't so think this makes. I don't think this brings it back to top tier, unfortunately. Literally, I, I say they're trying, you know. Yeah, they're trying though. Yeah, and the problem with last tier is you get kited way too easily. And like, if open wounds deal damage, then I think it would be nice. But because open wounds doesn't do damage, you can simply bring blink out of it. Lion, all spike mana cost reduced from 100, 120, 145 to 170 to 100, 120, 140 to 160. Okay. The next duration, duration. increased from. She's very minor buff. Very minor buff. 0 0.1 seconds stun duration increase. Yeah. Mana drain reduce cooldown from 20, 15, 10, 5 to 16, 12, 8, 4. Any thoughts on I this? I think uh, it'll be a top tier thing. Not because of these changes, Fetch. right? But more of, more no, because no, no, of no, the no, other no. changes, right? Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> so that's my uh, take it to the bank pick. Alright, so we've got Chen. Then we've got Lion, made by our yeah. resident tournament winner, international <laughs> winner. Oh, you, 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 you <laughs> international. Anyway, so I'm waiting for you to pick. Yeah. Oh, I get too ahead uh, of myself. All right, all right, all right, all right. Don't do it. We move from CM. We play synergy with a new ability. For when Lone Druid, Savage Raw causes enemies in three twenty five AOE around you, you're about to run away. With twenty percent move speed bonus for two point four seconds towards their fountain. Uh, um, I guess I'm not sure. I, I it's not in CM so. But basically, yeah, the bear has uh, new shit now. Like the bear, basically, is the same bear when he had synergy. Oh, it's different. Uh, like, I mean. It's different, like, uh, now your bear is synergy. Yeah, your bear is synergy. synergy is now in, in you. It's in you, it's built into you. Like you said earlier, yeah, just now, right? Like, I saw, like, witchcraft. Yeah, so, yeah, witchcraft. So, uh, Shemishu is good because uh, it's, it introduces a new uh, fear mechanic, I think. They have it's the first it, fear uh, mechanic in fear. Dota, right? Ice Frog. Hey, me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of fear, uh, the first fear mechanic in Dota. So what happens, uh, if, if you want to escape, it helps you to escape. Like if they can kill it and whatnot, uh, if you want to reposition them to make them back off from the tower, you can do that as well. You can set your bear up ahead and do that. So there are many applications uh, for this skill, you know. Yep. But you're cool. still you're still not gonna pick it up, you know. You're gonna pick uh, what's the other skill called? I think uh, it's called rabbit. Yeah, rabbit. You're gonna pick that up instead. I guess it is kind of a buff since you can now level, level rabbit because previously you always level synergy and bear. Now because like yeah, yeah, the yeah, synergy is built into you, buff. yeah, it's kind of a buff. Luna turn rate increased from zero point four to zero point six. Eclipse scepter beam interval reduced from zero point six to zero point three. But no one gets scepter on Luna. I think it's Simu. Yeah, <laughs> Lycan, Lycan moves and shape shift no longer grant crit strike. 
but Lycan Wolves now gain Cripple at level 2. Cripple is a 20% chance to, to, to cripple the target, causing it to take 8 damage per second and lose 40 attack speed for 4 seconds. It doesn't slow the target though. Uh, yeah. Ship mm -hmm. Shift now grants all units under your control a 40% chance for 1.4, 1.6, 1.8 times crit, including Necro Minions, correct? Yes, they do include Necro Minions. So I think the Pain Train is leaving the station. Do you guys want to get on the I station? I think the Pain Train <laughs> is on yeah, but its way. The issue here is uh, it, doesn't get, um, it doesn't give you the crit chance. It used to give you the crit chance. Now it only gives uh, uh, your summons when you're in shift-shift. Hmm. used to be like uh, you, had, you, had, you had crit chance when you're in shift-shift, your wolves have have crit chance. Yeah, correct. But now, now you don't, you don't have an inherent you crit chance, yeah. Yeah. But your, your unit You don't have, have crit it. chance at all. Yeah. yeah but your unit will have it uh, when you, you go to shift-shift. So basically and you can solo queue. It's harder to solo queue, but it's easier to, to pain train push. and push. Yeah, it's pain train or you know, push and take rush. Any predictions for Lycan? In terms of... Uh, uh, I don't know, I guess you can jungle better with it now. So you might see more position for Lycans. Oh, that was really old though. Uh, then, uh, yeah, when all you do is push. Magnus. Add a scepter to Magnus. Changes in power to be an allied hero aura. Affects range hero for half values. And causes them to do splash damage around the target in 200 AOE. Can still be cast on units, does not stack. Scale distance increased from 750. It's basically the same MX level anyway. But the level 1 is 750 to 900, so it's nice. Scale slow reduced from 40% 40, 40 to 25, 30, 25, 40. Slow duration increased from 2.5 to at max 3.25. What do you think of the acceptor bonus? Uh, useful but not needed. Uh, like splash damage. You know, that was nice. It helps. Yeah, splash does help. That's the issue here. So imagine you have a um, you, have, you have an alchemist, a draw ranger, a Magnus. Alchemist uh, thinks it's Christmas and gives them X. You know, what might happen? Who knows? You know, the amount of splash damage is uh, crazy. User joined your channel. But um. So we've got we've got Dion here. Holy shit, Dion! What are you doing here? Dion, Dion where we are recording a uh, patch in Ulysses. Well, I think he's gonna listen to a patch in Ulysses. <laughs> Holy shit, he's playing that one. Shit, man. So, uh, are you playing a Warcraft 3? Like, uh, are you playing like Garena or something? Anyway. Alright, I think he's, he has sealed off to the sunset. Dusa. Oh, I was trying to play Ark Warden. Alright, uh, yeah, let's talk about Dusa while well, Dion sits here in the channel. Mystic Snake no longer increases mana steel per jump. Mystic Snake, mana steel is now 11, 14, 17, 20% of total mana. Yeah, it's better to play a carry. Oh, no. <laughs> Does it? Wait. If it no longer increases mana steel per jump, does it do less damage per jump? No. It still does the same amount. I think it's the same. Yeah. Okay. Meepo. Double damage no longer affects how Meepo units. That's enough. And that was yeah, ridiculous that anyway. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, that was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I'm glad they nerfed it for the swing. Mirana. Attack range increased from 600 to 630. Ooh. Star Storm radius increased from 625 to 650. Sacred Arrow now instantly kills the first unit it hits. If it is a non ancient creep, we're gonna play the shit out of this hero, man. <laughs> Jungle Mirana? Anyone? Yeah, why, not? why not? Me, me. <laughs> just start on, uh, just arrow the big creep. Easy XP, like if you're mid, uh, you're not mid. Arrow the big, uh, arrow the big creep. Easy XP, go back to lane, you get 630 range. Not many people can touch you other than Lina, you know. Yeah, but I think Jungle Mirana is the thing now. Okay, Morphling. Adaptive 
base uh, strike base damage increased from 50, 60, 70, 80 to 100. Uh, it's nice. Adapting strike mana cost reduced from 100 to 70. <laughs> Moth rate increased from 24610 per second to 24816. Moth now shifts in intervals of 1 uh, rather than 2. Oh, it doesn't affect rate of change, just movements. Hybrid cooldown reduced from 140 to 120. Any thoughts on this hero? No. Not, not sure what they're trying to do with Mothling. I think, uh, still stay the same. Naga Siren. In game. Nothing much. That's alright. Naga Siren. Uh, yeah. Uh, nah, get better intelligence from yeah. the start. Uh, base game, intelligence, so... not in game. Yeah. MP. Oh, yeah, base intelligence. Yeah. You just no, the base in game increases as well. Oh, yeah. Point by 0 0.05. Yeah. Base in, in intelligence increased by four. This MP. Trillion damage increased from thirty to twenty eight to thirty two. Means great, greater trillion damage increased from eighty four to ninety six. Uh yeah. Another jungling, jungling hero. hero. Necrophos base number increased by one. Who cares? Yeah, I have nothing to say about it. Night Stalker, Void, slow at night, reduced from four to 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4. Yeah, that is a big difference, I think. Yeah, I mean, it was a tier 2 support uh, in the current patch. So, in the late levels, uh, it was good. But now, um, they kind of make yeah, sure that you can't, slow, really, man. Uh, you can't really go on yeah. the hero so much now. Yeah. Nyx. Assassin. Nyx Impale. Duration increase from 1.27. 1.77, 2.27. 2.77 to... Wow, it's a minor increase. Spike carapace cooldown reduced from... The basic next level, the cooldown will be reduced by 4 seconds. This year... I'd encourage more Nyx offlane, I think. Everybody's been buffing Nyx. But still... Yeah, they've been trying to buff Nyx. Uh, still, like... I don't think the hero is... Is better, for sure. Not much better. Better, but not much better. Situation pick an offlane. Oracle, enabled in CM. I didn't think you skipped Magi. Oh, sorry, yeah, Magi. Base health regen increase from 2.5 to 3.5. As if the regen is not ridiculous already. What is the regen yeah, now with this really? increase? 3.5? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, 3.5. Oh, yeah, how am I talking about? Yes. I, I keep thinking about the answer. armor, man. I keep thinking about the armor, yeah. The armor uh, is ridiculous as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Oracle Enable in CM I don't really play Oracle Can someone explain it? You wanna do it? Well let me explain it um, Yeah, I mean It's just a hero that does stuff that no one is sure of <laughs> Fair enough I, 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 I do think that um, Yeah, I'm just putting it there to see if people play it I mean I don't think much people play Oracle I have to try it for myself so yeah, that's all I can say. Okay. OD, our devourer. We worked how Astro Imprisonment works. Instead of stealing intelligence, now it does damage. Affects the 400 area, 400 area, area. So basically it does damage to an enemy when it ends. And the target will also take, its, yeah. take damage. Can now be targeted, targeted on creeps. I guess it allows OD to farm better. Yeah, it's like jungle OD. Uh, Astro imprisonment cooldown is good from. Is good by a bit basically. One second less. Uh, Astro imprisonment cast ranged. Increased by a hundred, at max level. Uh, duration increased. At all levels to four. So. So at level 1 is 4 seconds. Yep. That is a very good setup, right? Yeah, very very good setup. Essence Aura reduced from 100 to 900. Arcane Op now still, still 
one, two, three intelligence per hit for forty seconds he was only. Uh OD it means, uh, growth reduced by a lot. Two point oh, three. Just need right seven. Seven. Back to the hero for the in for the in game. Or the in still, so to speak. Do you think OD what kind of hero is OD right now then? It's it, they're trying to make OD like hero, more like more like a you can farm more traditional mid hero. Traditional yeah. farming mid hero, right? Yeah, it looks like that. Since you can farm more with your astral imprisonment and yeah, and you're like an I mean, you a, just a walker used to be... now. Yeah, yeah, a walker now. Phantom Assassin, base in increase from three, three, thirteen plus one to fifteen plus one point four. I guess you can use maybe one more staffing dagger. Yes, two more, I think. Two more? Okay. Yeah. Phoenix, Sunray turn rate increased from 20 to 25. Supernova damage per second increased from 60, 1800 to 60, 90, 120. Buff to Supernova at max level. Well, uh, the turn rate helps uh, because uh, your Sunray, right, you move like a bus. So yeah. that's how they, you can turn way faster than before. Hmm. Puck. Op damage, op mana cost, most importantly, reduced from 150 to 80, 100, or 20, 40. And low levels is very, it's a lot more efficient now. Uh, up cooldown, increase from 11 to 14, 13, 12, 11. Winning Rift cooldown reduced from 16 to 13. Winning Rift no longer silences only heroes, it silences creeps as well, like summons. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, good change overall. Uh, the legendary of mana cost reduce is uh, very very high, 150 to 80. So now you can uh, cast it more with your small little mana pool that you have. You can lane better, right? I guess at the start. As part. Yeah, yeah, you can lane better for sure. Patch, we work scepter on patch. Uh, reduces cooldown of midhook to four seconds and increases damage from 360 to 475. Wow, that's nice. This damage. Uh, that's not part of the upgrade. From 75, 125, 175 to. It's basically. Isn't it. They they basically put the scepter into parts, right? For this yeah. member. Yeah, it does. That's they, what they did. And they, they just reduce the uh, big hook, you know? If, if you buy a scepter. And increase damage. Do you think patch? And it's called damage. Yeah, we all, we all, you almost always go scepter on patch. Yeah, patch always goes scepter. After your blink and your. Force. Of defiance, yeah. Oh yeah, hood. But what do you think of patch of now? Course. I think it's is it. Uh, I think it's a lot stronger right now. Like yeah, but uh, I think you, you struggle to find a uh, lane for him. That's right. What? Because he kind of gets uh, outplayed by most. Mm. Yeah, and with the really I, him in. the meta is like jungling meta, so maybe if you play maybe defensively, you yeah, maybe you could hunt to yeah, counter the. Passiveness of the junglers. Yeah, maybe. I'm not too sure to be honest. Pakna, decryptify no longer slows allies. I think that's like should have been there like Ghost Scepter used to slow slow you too. Yeah. Uh, Queen of Pain. The quality of life change I think. Yeah, it's kill our change. Screen of Pain reduced from eighty five one six five two five three hundred to 75, 150, 2 to 5, 300, not much. Sonic wave travel speed reduced from 1100 to 900. I mean, you can dodge it now. I guess if you're fast enough. Like, in max move speed, maybe you can dodge it with Sukuchi or something. Oh, or haste it. If it's like you're at the, at the, yeah, far away from it. Uh, I mean, they are trying to hinder her ability to farm, but. Uh... It's no difference, I think. He will still be top, top man. Wiki. Remove from CM. So many rebooks. You wanna take me through this? Well, uh... So, they removed the... Uh, okay, so what happened is, uh, permanent invisibility. It was a skill. Now, uh, it includes backstab. Because they removed backstab. What happens is, uh, he gains... 
0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and one damage when attacking from behind. The fate type is now 3 seconds at level 4, but it no longer grants the regeneration. So, um, I mean, Ricky wasn't really played much. Uh, we, know, we tried to see him in the off lane, so maybe now we will not even see him in the off lane at all. Since he doesn't have the precious regeneration. Um, Link Strike is now a basic ability. Back to what it was before. 20, 40, 60, 80 damage. And uh, 16, 12, 8, 4 seconds on the cooldown. And uh, mana cost 50, so you, can, you don't really have charge, you can just use it once. And that's it. Um, he gets a new ultimate called Tricks of the Trade. So it says uh, Ricky phases out of the world for up to 3 to three, four, five seconds, attacking every enemy from behind in the 450 area around him. He attacks once when phasing out, and then once per second while being phased out. So I think it's like a slap of fist sort of kind of skill. Huh. We attack an area. Omni slash. And uh, I think you're invulnerable. Uh, it's like Omni slash, slap of fist, etc. Uh, the strength growth is reduced. And energy growth is reduced, so they're trying to rework the whole hero. Uh, the base armor is reduced as well, and smoke screen no longer slows people's turn. Uh, I feel like uh, they're still testing the hero. I can't see a future for him. Right. I don't think this is a step in the right direction. I like I like the blink strike is normal skill, but uh, <laughs> they should just have, have another ultimate. You know. Rubric fate boat attack damage reduction increased from 14, 20, 26, 32 to 20, 25, 30, 35. At level 1, it increases a lot more damage now. Yeah. Uh, it's an attack damage, uh, attack damage reduction. So Sand reduces. King. We work settle on Sand King. Doubles Power Strike cast range and applies Caustic Finale poison to heroes. Base strength increased. From 18 to 21, Caustic Finale slow increase from 25% to 30%. Does it mean you can rush X? Uh, nah, <laughs> or do you still go, go blink? blink? You still jungle and go for blink. But after you will go for X, cause uh, okay, it, it no longer uh, gives you damage from the bonus pulses from the old X scepter. But uh, now with uh, Ether Lens, right, you can actually cast Boro Strike, like uh, 1.3k range the Boro Strike. That's how far it is. That's ridiculous. So you get the quality stun. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. You can basically initiate from almost 2k range with a blink. Yeah, if you have, Yeah. From a wall away, basically. <laughs> I, I Actually, I'm gonna go on a limb and I'm gonna say that Senken is gonna be a top tier off lane. Off lane? Or A4. I feel like. Support, yeah. Because there is a camp near the offlane, Senken can kind of abuse it. As an offlaner. Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Shadow Demon. Disruption Illusions. Uh, duration from 5, 6, 7, 8 to 6, 8, 10, 12. Nice. Buff. Disruption is stronger. More annoying, uh, basically. Yeah. More annoying. It's a little more annoying. Shadow Fiend. Add a scepter to Shadow Fiend. Who the hell gets scepter for SF? Oh, it's new one, right? Yeah. Wrecker Muscles. Return back damage to SF, dealing 40% damage on the way back. So it's technically 140% damage. And it, all of the damage the Wrecker does to heroes on its way back heals you. So the 40% damage that it does on its way back heals you. Oh, it's like a mech, a mini mech, if you get setter. Uh, it heals you only though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's satanic, I guess, if you get satanic on top of it. I don't think Shadow Fins are gonna go scepter. Yeah. I mean, Base armor. There, you know, it's just like a... Like... How do I put it? Like a for fun, for fun scepter thing. For fun scepter upgrade. Oh, and I'll agree with you. It is, it is. Kind of, you know. Base armor reduced by 1. As a raised mana cost increase from 75 to 90. Along with the... The uh, the changes to the um, intro camps. You think Shadowfin is still top tier? Nah, I don't think so. I agree. No, I don't think he's top tier anymore. Like he's, he's easily gankable. And if he loses the lane, 
He's it's gonna be so hard for him to catch up. Yeah, yeah. Shadow Shaman. Shackles' damage total damage increased from one twenty one eighty two forty to three hundred to one twenty two hundred three two eighty to three sixty. That is quite a lot of damage, but. Uh, I guess it, it it's nice. Mass upon what's required to hit destroy. That is. So now it's harder to kill the. Yeah, you can't one shot. What's? You can't one shot it anymore. Uh, okay. So Shaman is a hero in the middle. Like he's very situational. He helps push. He has a uh, pretty good disables in shackle and hex. So uh, with this, we might see him pushed into tier one. Might. The thing I don't like about Shadow Shaman is that his movement speed is too too slow, too low. So, like if for example, like he wants to like go behind the enemy hero and or go from the flank, it's gonna be really hard for him to initiate. Cause yeah, it's so you slow. Need to farm a blink. Yeah. Shaman. Curse of the Silent. I mean Silencer. Replace Curse of the Silent with a new ability, Arcane Curse. Um. Targets an area causes enemies to take damage over time. Anytime they cast a spell, the duration of the debuff is increased. If an enemy affected by this debuff is silenced, the, the debuff will pause. No damage and no time elapses. You know duration, what it means? 7 seconds. That means you don't use any spells. Does, does it have a max? Yeah. It doesn't, right? No, there's no max. <laughs> oh, you might keep going, huh? If you got like a storm or bristol bag. Yeah. You need to be alert then, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you do, you do. I mean, it's kind of the opposite of um, the previous spell, right? The pre, I mean, curse of, it can't, it's, it's, it's the exact, exact opposite of curse of the silent. Previously it was yeah, if yeah, you cast a spell, you dispel the thing. Now if you cast a spell, you yeah, extend yeah. the duration. Uh, extend the duration. So if you buy Agadim's on Silencer, so and, and it costs Global Silence, so everyone, everyone will get Arcane Curse, correct? I'm not too sure about that. Maybe. Of course, previously everyone will get Curse of the Silent. Yeah, but but you know after they change the skill, it might not be on Agadim's anymore. But the thing is, if the enemy is affected, affected by this debuff is silenced, then then, uh, then it's useless yeah. because it's. Yeah, Counter intuitive, like you silence them. You might as well don't buy the scepter. What's the point of buying the scepter? <laughs> Increase silent duration, reduce cooldown. I don't know. I don't think uh, this is gonna be applied on the global silence. Even if you have scepter, so yeah. Alright, next you. Sky of Mage. Concussive shot mana reduced from 110 to 1 to 95. Not much. Slada amplified damage now is like a track instead of an M damage. Previously. Thoughts? It's a slight nerf, but... It doesn't change much. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, change that much. Vision is really important, so... If it's like... If they put it like this, it's like track. Yeah, but thing so is... No longer as M, M damage as it is... M, M damage... Like, the main point of M damage is the... Reduce armor, right? Like, yeah, you, you debuff it, it but, um, you debuff the target and you help just burst him down. It helps, yeah, it does. But vision does help a lot. Yeah. That trick for attacks mana cost reduced from... 100, 110, 120, 130 to 85. That is the pool. That trade vortex. Yeah, I mean, I guess they are trying to, you know, yeah, it still make doesn't... him playable to a certain extent, but I don't think he's still playable. <sighs> maybe with Kotto is playable. Additional mana. Yeah, maybe. Sven, base damage increased by 4. Got strength, scepter, aura bonus. Damage increased from. 50, 7500 to 7500, 125. A lot of people talk about the, uh, the scepter for Seven, like saying he will be a support against scepter for increased uh, god strength damage. 
was cheap. But um, hasn't really taken off, so I'm not oh. sure if this will help. It's cost. Yep. TA. Refraction is not always visible. That is a big nerf. The TA. Uh, I think it should have always been there. Really? Yeah. Hmm. TB. And they put TB in Captain's mode. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think TB can be a top tier pick. I'm not sure if. No opinion. Tide Hunter. Added a scepter to Tide Hunter. Gush, it causes Gush to be an AoE thing that travels over 800 range. Or 1800 range. I guess it's an AoE minus armor, right? Yeah, it is. Anchor Smash, cast time reduced from 0 0.5 to 0 0.4. Ravage Sun duration is good from this badly rescued. Timber saw. I think I mean you, you normally don't get acceptor on uh, Titan anyway. Yeah. Go on. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can get it because you don't really need like Shivas on Titan, right? Why not blink refresher Shivas? I think acceptor is okay, but you need your blink first. <laughs> Titan is like, like um, like clockwork. Yeah. You get a core item and then and then the rest of the items are not so core, but they're good for you. Timber saw, whirling death, debuff duration increase from seven to eleven. Mana cost decrease from seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred to seventy. <laughs> Reactive summon duration is from sixteen to fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, hundred, twenty. I think this is I think overall Timber Saw got a pretty pretty big buff. <laughs> especially yeah, with Tango, especially Ironwood branches now, I think. I think there's something you can oh, do yeah. with them. You can plant trees and then rolling depth there. Yeah, you could. It's just too bad that you can't stack Ironwood branch, right? Uh, yeah, they'll be too overpowered. Tinker, laser cast point improve. Cast time improved from 0 0.5 to 0 0.4, range improved by 100. That is, it helps Tinker quite a bit in laning phases, I think. Especially to laser range increase. Can you kind of laser from high ground and. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah that's right. You can harass on high ground, basically. Tiny. Craigie exterior now triggers on text landing rather than on the start. I think this should have been there all along. Since reactive armor is the same thing. <laughs> Train protector, leech seed mana cost reduced from 100, 110, 120, 130 to 18, 95, 110, AoE increased from 675 to 800. Scepter overgrowth uh, damage. This changes, changes a lot, right? Yeah. Do you think it's a big buff? I like it. Uh, well, like what you said with Timber, you can actually put a tree down and you can extract a book. Oh yeah? I didn't think of that. There you go. That's why I have you here. <laughs> yeah, that's why you have me here. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next hero. Troll. Or oh, a lot. Fervor. It reduced from 20, 25, 30, 35 to 15, 20, 25, 30. Stacks increase from 4 to 6. Um, Whirling excess cooldown reduced from. Reduced by 3 seconds at max level. Any opinions on this hero? No. <laughs> Troll. Well, they're trying to buff it, but uh, I don't think they're doing it right. Task. Movement speed reduced by 5. Eye shots damage reduced. Damage reduced by 40. Snowball can no longer pull units out of black hole or chronosphere. Uh, 
Snowball get the radius reduced by 50. I yeah, still think Tass is they... going to be pretty alright. Still good. Yeah, still it's, good. it's still yeah. good. They really need to uh, find a way to nerf the Snowball properly. Yeah, I feel like eye shots is a big deal, man. It's still so good, eye shots. Then you completely yeah, block the off people. Blocks and wanna. Yeah. yeah. And the snowball is still really really useful, not just black hole and corner sphere. I think like RP and uh, stuns and all of that you can yeah, save I mean, your allies. Essentially, so. um, they, if they want to actually know it properly, they might actually. I mean, we I'm going snowball. on a limb and saying that they, yeah, they just revoke snowball and make it like the old snowball, you know. They can't like pull people in. Yeah, no, you can't pull people in. Yeah. Undying. I think that's fair. Yeah, because ice task is like. A defensive and offensive hero, you can save your allies, you can and you can like reposition the fight. There's so many things you can do with Task. And it's it's still I mean it's 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 good. It's just a really strong hero overall, I think. <laughs> Undying. Yeah, it is. Tombstone zombie damage reduced from thirty five to thirty. Tombstone bounty increased from <laughs> 7500 125 150 to what <laughs> 125 level 1 150 wow the bounty has increased by so much <laughs> tombstone so, uh, don't look once for xp i think it's a big nerf just just don't just don't fuck the tombstone blazer <laughs> <coughs> fuck it up it's free gold for the enemy team yep <laughs> osa Scepter added to Ursa. Allows you to cast your ultimate while disabled and reduces this cooldown by a fuck ton. <laughs> by 12 seconds at level. It's just, it's just 18 seconds right now. <laughs> With Scepter. Enrage is no longer purgeable. I don't think get in. Yeah, the, the thing about Ursa is yes, this is a good Scepter upgrade. I agree, but then you got too many items to get. You have bling, you have your mask of madness or your vets. Or even your satanic. But you don't get satanic first. Yeah. You have like Basher as well. Even BK. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you, you can use after to replace BKB. But you still need BKB though. Yeah, this thing. Or you, or you get kited. <laughs> Cause Scepter doesn't, so <laughs> doesn't help you not get kited. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. It just like makes you take less damage. <coughs> Venge. <laughs> yeah, that's that bonus of yes. Now when you die, you have an illusion, <laughs> and the illusion can use all your abilities, but not items. <laughs> you think? What do you think? Venge Pretty player. good. Pretty good. <laughs> Call. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, no. Yes. Pause. Uh, pause, uh, quest, then X. I mean, yeah, you, you do you do 50% damage, you take 150% more damage, but you can use stun, wheel of terror, and swap. And uh, I think uh, when you die, you give the enemy a uh, negative damage buff. If you have X, right, you spawn in Lujin, that gives your team positive damage buff. So, yeah. in a sense, it's, it, it goes both ways, you know. So this really helps bench and the team. And your swap is still like, uh, 4 second cooldown or something. With, with the old scepter bonus. Yeah. You can swap creeps, still. So I think it's really useful. Final Mentor. Final Mentor gill reduced by a bit. <laughs> Not much. Visage. Again, stone form you increased by 10. Nothing much. Warlock, base damage strength increased by 4. Shadow bird duration increased by 1 again. <laughs> I really can't say much about this. User left your channel. Weaver. Oh, you left. User yeah. joined your channel. Said Leon again. Uh, he's back. Base oh, strength back, increased by 4. Wait, wait, this, this Warlock, sorry. Weaver, base strength increased by 3. Swarm damage. 
BAT increased. Improved, sorry, improved. Hmm. I don't think Weaver is still viable. It's still. It doesn't do anything at all as a carry. I feel. Weaver. Why not? Yes, good DPS. Pretty survivable. Really? Then the game Internet. is not like scary at all, Weaver. It's not yeah, super you scary. <laughs> you need a lot of items. Yeah. <laughs> Wind Ranger. Shaggle Shot is not destroyable. Thank God. Second shot speed <coughs> increase. Finally yeah, finally. Speed now increase the second shot speed by quite a bit, by almost a by hundred and thirty five. Nah, no, yeah, hundred thirty five. Uh, second shot angle reduced from twenty six degrees to twenty three degrees. <laughs> Any idea how the angle works? <laughs> um, I mean it's a smaller angle, but. <laughs> I think you'll still see uh, crazy shackles. Okay. Power shot speed no longer decreases by a small, small amount as it goes through units. You said the damage thing decreases speed, man. Mm. It's just the speed, man. <laughs> Overall, yeah, I think we should be nerfed more. <laughs> I think it's it a really, should, but, still you know, really strong hero. Nice rock, you know. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> oh, that's wrong. <laughs> I think Winjo is still top tier. <laughs> Win Win. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. Winter Ivan. Remove from CM. <laughs> uh, actually, you should, you should. I should just let you take over for Winter Ivan. Well, there's nothing much to say, right? It's removed from CM. It's right? fucked. Ah, not just the fact. The curse, yeah, man. Remove our CM. Uh, it's the curse. It's <laughs> what the so hell shit. is? It's so shit. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can curse the support and uh, make the carry kill the support, and that's about it. Basically, you can't solo curse people anymore. Yeah, you can't. You can't do it anymore. Uh, even on two targets, it's useless. <laughs> You yeah, can't curse the carry anymore. <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're looking for like a 3 4 man curse. Yeah. Which is not easy. Yeah, it's not, it's not. <laughs> Which doctor. <laughs> man, I think mana cost reduced from 120 to 105, 110, 15, 120. Magnetic cast range increased from 5 to 5 to 1, 5 to 5. The problem with magnetic is the AoE. <laughs> Not so much the cast range. Yeah, it's still very small. <laughs> it's still very small, the AoE. Yeah, it's like 100 plus, I think. Wraith King. When period of one, I can be not be target to make life steal for heroes only. That is quality of life, I think. Makes laning nicer. Yeah, if you don't push the lane, you want to. <laughs> yep. Items. Oh, yeah, we take, can we take a break before we go to items? Yeah, sure, I'll need a break as well. I'll take a five minute break. Yep. Uh, I guess shortly. you guys won't see the break, but uh. Oh.